Welcome to the interior of the Frontier KZ2405. Why don't you uh, step inside with me and I'll show you some of the uh, amenities inside the, the trailer. So again, this is the rear slide out and this does slide all the way forward. It's a manual slide. It does have a reading area with lights and uh, it's very comfortable. And then we have another storage area here that does flip up. Uh, for when you close the slide. You've got the dinette area. This does uh, turn into a bed as well. And then as you uh, move over to this area, we've got the kitchen space. Uh, we did install a TV. It is hooked into the antenna up on top and it can be uh, tied into the coax for the, um, for the TV as well. It is a DVD player. We'll include that with it. It has a DVD in the top. Uh, if you look down here, you've got all of your uh, control center. you got battery, fresh, black, and gray. And you would you have a water heater as well. Uh, this is the antenna tie-in uh, for the antenna for the TV. I have installed a USB combo plug that works on uh, hookups only. It does have an AC unit. You will need at least a 2,000 watt generator to run the air conditioner or be on full hookups. Uh, it does have a nice vent fan that does close and shut off when you when you close it. AC ducts all the way through. This is the track assembly that the slide comes in on. We do have a, we we added a key holder and it has an AM FM uh, stereo. And then this does slide out as well, and this becomes a bed uh, a small bed also. There's a little bit of storage space behind here. Uh, there is a ladder for the bunk beds. I'll show you that in just a moment. <clears throat> storage all the way across here. And this is the side slide, and this is an electric slide. Uh, show you that. And it works no problem in and out. Uh, we do have the uh, stove center here um, and the fuse panel. Uh, the microwave does work. If you'll hear the generator. I went ahead and started the generator in the back. It's just, that's actually working just fine. The generator does need to kick on for that. And then we've got a nice size refrigerator. That's in clean, good shape. This is an LP or electric refrigerator, either one. So it works on gas or electricity. Nice pantry area, it's really deep. It's as deep as my arm, deeper almost. We do have a carbon monoxide detector as well, as, and also smoke detectors throughout the, the trailer. There is a partition wall here that if you wanted to There's a partition wall and this is in good shape and you got the AC heat unit here. It also has a built-in fan if you just want to run the fan. As you move this way, this is the, the bathroom area and you can use this to cordon it off. There's a door on the bathroom, the toilet itself. But nice storage here as well, down below. And there is a, there's a side tray table that pops up. Uh, you can put your toiletries and whatnot here. Another nice, um, addition is the closet in the back corner and what we really like is the kids bunks they have their own little space and it's great for them um, there is like I said a ladder that hooks in here we rebuilt this to make it stronger and uh, there is the solar controller for the solar array that we built off the front bumper uh, the front hitch area um, it's totally it's in place and I'll include that and the inverter And then lastly is the shower and bathroom area. It has an accordion style door. And it is a small tub too if you have kids that you need to wash the sand off from the beach.
And then there are speakers throughout. Um, we've got speakers in the back back here, and I'll go ahead and turn the stereo on. You can hear that. Just FM is what I got going, but it's got rear, and you can separate the speakers out. And there's exterior speakers as well. So that's the review of the interior of the uh, Frontier 2405. Thank you.